Hey guys, and welcome back to another week of Terra Caridian Encounters. How are y'all doing this week? So good. Great, grand, wonderful. All right. Shoveled a bunch of snow. Weighs yep. 800 pounds. Slept in years. Mm-hmm. As you've gone below freezing down here. <sighs> yeah, we had a snow day um, up here in the north. At least those of us in school did. People who worked get fucked. Yeah. Wow. Well. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't have to go to work anyways, so I don't really give a shit. Yeah. So that was fun, I guess. I don't really care about having Mondays off, because it's like my least heavy day. Yeah. <laughs> but it is what it is. It's still welcome, you know? Mm -hmm. Can't say I slept in, though. It was like roll over to get out of bed, ready for school, look at the clock, and it's like... I looked at my phone, and it's like, school's off, and I'm like, well, shit. Well, I'm up. Yep. That's what happened. Well, I'm up. Get some coffee. Yep. So. Uh, so what's new? Anything interesting? Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. The new Wreck-It Ralph movie was predictable as fuck. Mm. Is that out? Smash Ultimate Leaks. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. It turns out Wreck It Ralph is uh, part of Smash now, guys. Everyone except Waluigi. We'll never put Waluigi in it. It's going to be such a disappointment. Todd Howard's going to have his day in court. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that game is already down to like 39 bucks. Still too expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Corwin, did you buy it full price? No, I didn't. I haven't uh -huh. even looked at it yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought I was gonna buy it day of. Didn't. That's yeah. why you don't pre-order, guys. That's why you don't pre-order. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as soon as I heard Bethesda was making an online video game, I was like. No. Oh, I mean, it, they surely had to have learned their lesson with ESO, right? Right? ESO is actually fairly successful. But, and you would have thought... In terms of MMOs, yeah. yeah. And you would think Which that... don't really do well. Yeah. <laughs> you would think that they could have improved on that with Fallout 76. Does not sound like they did. I don't think they were going for the same crowd. No. They were definitely going for the Fortnite kids crowd. It's like, oh, it's a world shooter and stuff, you know? Collect some stuff and kill people. Probably yeah. chances are they didn't want to spend the money to make anything new for it. From what I've heard, they no. just copy-pasted most of everything from Fallout 4. That's what it looks like. The same bugs are in there. Mm-hmm. And a bunch of new ones as well, unfortunately. <laughs> of course. Oh, of course. <laughs> why do they? Work. Why would they take the lowest rated, like, Fallout game, and then copy paste that to make an MMO out of it, and think they're going to be successful? Excuse you. Five out of five. Oh, sorry. Five out of five. Still haven't opened this. Don't plan to. <laughs> as long as you have faith in Todd Howard. You'll deliver Skyrim 5 again. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I like I, I had a lot of fun in Fallout 4, but like, yeah, it's fun. Like, it's not it's not fun for the same reasons I enjoyed every other Fallout. Yeah. Game. <clears throat> Listen, guys, the reasons why there are nukes in Fallout 76 is because. If you create enough nukes, there will be a nuclear winter. And that means mm. there will be a place like Skyrim. And that means there will be uh, okay. creatures like dragons. So, oh, Skyrim. Oh, shit. Um, Is Skyrim actually in the future? You Todd, Todd Howard actually <laughs> confirmed that you those are like not the same you universe. Wake up on a wagon being pulled by a horse. <laughs> 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 You're finally awake. <laughs> oh, shit. There's this video that has, like, a side by side comparison of like a boss fight in like Fallout 76, and it's the exact same as like a dragon fight in like Skyrim. 
Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. Oh, is that the Scorch Beast Queen thing? Yeah. I have not even seen any gameplay from Fallout 76 aside from the beta. Hmm. It it doesn't look that that impressive. It's yeah. Fallout. <laughs> they just need to do the top down stuff again, and actually, you know. Uh, hey, if you like that, you'd like uh, Wasteland Two, made by the original Fallout devs. Or uh, you know, you might if if you enjoy. Uh, shooter games like that, you might enjoy uh, Borderlands. It's kind of Corwin. Kinda can close you post your token. goals to spells and rules? Yeah, so, I'm trying to come up with a new shirt. All right. Well, in, whenever you're ready. In other news, has anybody bought anything good for Cyber Monday or Black Friday, for that matter? Hitman Two. Uh, I bought a new TV. Nice. That's pretty dope. A new new TV? Yeah. <laughs> Did you return the other one? Or what? Oh no, is this the one I told you about that I hung too yeah, high? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> no, I fixed that. <laughs> I, oh. dropped, I put I brought the mount down like eight in the, in the eight inches. Okay. Like you brought it down like six feet, so it's at eye level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's not like you're sitting in a dentist office. <laughs> yeah. That's what it looked like. It looked like the corner of a dentist office. No. No, we still wanted it high, but we didn't want it that high, so we only brought it down a little bit. God, I can't imagine Corwin getting into dentistry. Like, hey, open your mouth for me, buddy. <laughs> hey, hey oh, here it comes the pointy stick, boy. We already know what that would look like. He'd be that uh, one fucked up dentist guy. Oh my God, one H3. fucked up dentist. Yeah, I'm one <laughs> fucked up dentist. God, dude. That guy's <laughs> a living meme. Uh, I'm the tooth man. I, I'm honestly, like, severely disappointed in all the deals I've seen. Like, from all the fucking emails I've gotten the last couple of days, and things that I'm, like, for things that I'm interested in, everything was pretty much garbage. If you ask me. Yeah, that's why I don't even bother looking. I'm like, meh. Anyway. Uh, I hear we're here to play a game called Dungeons and Economics. Something Dungeons like that. and Building a Dungeon. <laughs> That we're gonna murder people. Dungeons and getting one shot by ghosts. Financing and dragons. Oh, yeah. I mean, your wish is my command. If that's what you're into. So, why don't you guys recap what happened last week for some experience? Well, uh, we started out by uh, contracting some guys who I'm still uh, not entirely convinced know how to build a house. Uh, but uh, we contracted them to build us quite the elaborate house and uh, guard wall and gate without we're, a moat. We're a high enough level to return on investments one way or another. I wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> uh, we also got struck a deal to uh, get the ingredients for different potions and we also set up uh we negotiate to where we could buy a potion of choking, the recipe for a potion of choking, but it was way too expensive at the time, so we put a pin on that for later mm -hmm. use. And we set onto the desert, at which point we found a spirit battle, something recreation of the past, perhaps, of the Yanti or Snake Men versus the uh, Caridian Elves. And as always, Slick was right and decided to help the Caridian Nils because they were stuck recreating that battle forever and ever. And I essentially, mm. Slick essentially, Slick and the party essentially killed all the Snake Men and saved, like, I don't know, how many souls from endless torture. Or maybe we condemn them all to a hell that's worse than purgatory. At least half. <laughs> Look, who cares? <laughs> They're gone now. <laughs> uh, and then they pointed us to the Terracotta Sentinels. North. That is all that we know. North. Okay. 
supposedly anyway. Yeah. It could have been like, what the fuck are you talking about? And it's like pointing in a random direction. Mm-hmm. That's why you need charades for frequency. All right, and the party has, I don't know, Clark kind of talked to me. Seems like he has a good idea of where the party might go, but we got to role play that out. So they set their eyes on, oh, we're not sure what path yet. We'll find out in game. Uh, experience, anyone's, you guys are sixth level mm -hmm. now? Everyone? Or Clark, seventh? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, so everybody who is sixth level gets 900 experience, and everyone who is seventh gets 1,100 experience. For the recap, 1,100. Yep. Okay. Let's take a look at the weather today. Do, 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 do. I think I level after this game. Yeah. What's the level? Twenty three hundred. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Yep. Definitely level. So. I don't remember. I'm guessing we flip to the next day, but I don't really know if I did that correct or not. Um, we'll say it is the morning of the 25th. The weather is light. And um, you guys finished your restless night of sleep after that engagement. Um, and let's drag you to the map so you know where you're at. And take it away. We bring we gain a lot. You do regain your spells, yes. Um, if you're going to change them, please PM me them or put them in roll twenty, whatever you prefer. I'm gonna uh, immediate spell slots. Uh, to store agonize or scorcher in a ring. Okay. So that's going to put you back two spell slots for today. Oh. Um, dice. Okay. Yep. Today, you guys each gain a hit dice back. Um, so I guess that's a wash for you, Lord Byron. And, um... I'm gonna need food and water because we are in the middle of the desert, so we know we're traveling. Two water, one it's food. Light. From everybody, yes. Uh, it's yes, that's correct. It's correct. And yeah, so you guys enjoy a meager breakfast. Pack up your belongings. Yeah. Probably getting a little bit sick of your hard tack and your berries. Whatever, dried berries, jerky. Um, and you begin to pack up. So what does the conversation this morning sound like? What does the party want to do? So, guys, are we going to head to the temple or are we heading straight for the mountains? Uh, Well, I think we continue on our trek towards the temple I mean it's pretty pretty much north anyways so alright we're gonna spend the whole time exploring or just maybe a quick glance over yeah I think so we continue to explore um now I presume same rule applies as always out of character that we've discovered the discoverable in this um In this uh, quad well, we, we didn't this discover square. anything. We just had a fight here, and I don't think we spent the entire, the full four days exploring it. I don't think, did we? Mm -mm. Um, yeah, do you want to just pass it by, or do you want to spend some more time here? 
I mean, yeah, I, th I think we can pass it by. Go and head north. Sounds good. Okay. So... Show me uh, with your pointer kind of how you want to travel. Uh, just straight over like that, right? You guys agree? I mean, it's up to you. And then we just travel through the square. Or around the square, rather. Something like that. Are we sure we want to, uh... Not just head straight north? That's where they pointed, right? Yes, but we have a stop so close. <laughs> oh god, that was terrible, like my computer. Um, I say we just, uh, I say we just go to the temple and see what's up. And, uh, I mean, if it's nothing interesting, we head, we continue to head north. If it's something a little bit too interesting, we could always come back. Yeah. Okay. So, let's take a look at, uh, that's gonna be for you. Um... So you guys travel about five hours today when you see uh, over the horizon the rise of some structures. Uh, the, did we completely explore that square first? I'm sorry. I want to mark it down. Um, I don't think you know for sure. I'll, I'll mark it. Oh, you could mark it a question mark if you want to go back and spend more time at it or something. Yeah, uh, all right. I presume these structures are uh, somewhat familiar looking. Mm. Make me... Well, you're not really close enough to know. I'm All I'm giving you right now is that you see structures. Mm -hmm. They're definitely not mountains. Uh, yeah, I mean... We'll continue to walk towards them. Um, okay. Not really going to say anything. Okay. But yet, anyways. Um, what was the date today? The 21st? Uh, the 25th. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Uh, so you guys continue to approach. How close will you approach until I say something or like is there a specific distance that you want to get to? I think until um, you say something. Yeah, I think until until it's obvious what they are if we're looking at like temples or just a bunch of obelisks or okay, giant golden dick or something like that in the sand. I don't know. Mountain sized monster. <sighs> mhm. Mm okay. You continue to approach um, when you can give me his whoa, someone just dropped from the call. Yeah. You had to rejoin. Charles. Um, you can give me a history check, Clark. Anyone who has seen Caridian structures can give me a history check, but I don't know that's anyone but Clark. I think at this point I'm the only one. Okay. Um. You do recognize from your distance, which is still, you know, a ways out from the city. Mm -hmm. uh, this is definitely an old Caridian-esque city, um, but there's something different about it. Okay. It doesn't look exactly... You would, I guess the way to frame it would be, it doesn't look entirely authentic. 
Okay. Uh, Something about it. Yeah. You can't quite place it. You'd have to get closer to inspect the city. Right. Yeah, something, something just seems off about the architecture. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, um, I'll, I'll just, I mean, I'll voice that to the party. To the party, I'll let them know. Uh, Do you think it was reoccupied by some the sort snake of snake men? It's hard to tell. I don't. I don't think it might be like a different era. Of uh, the cure die or something. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Maybe maybe it's older or newer. I think we might have to approach this carefully. Well, older or newer? Would would you say? Would you say like are there more buildings visible than usual or are there less? Way more. I mean, way more. You're used to like. Yeah, half. like. To three force buried cities. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, there's still s some submerged areas, but it looks like there's been a great deal of excavation, and maybe upkeep. It's hard to quite tell from here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It, well, yeah, we'll just continue towards it. Okay. Uh, Give me perception me, checks as you yeah. continue to approach. Well, I know if we see any movement or anything like that before we. <laughs> Get in there. Nice one, Fabio. I don't know why it Change, um... Go to the uh, cog. Go to the cog and change your name and display name. Uh, <laughs> um... You guys get closer. And a little bit closer. <clears throat> And Clark, your your eyes are on the prize. You notice that there is some movement within the city. You're maybe now only like a half a mile away from the city. Okay. Which means you're very visible in the middle right. of the desert. If someone were to actually be keeping watch. Um, is there like any, is there any like wooden structure, any like, I want to say like modern construct in a way, right? Like, like if there's like scaffolding around stuff, like you might be able to tell from half a mile away or if, um, like, yeah, I don't know, like, are there tents set up? That might be a bit harder to see. Uh, half with, your, with your 20 perception, uh, you think that you see, like, some sort of scaffolding over one of the large towers. But it's hard to tell. It's like a mm -hmm. wooden thing, you know? It's like, maybe it is, but you're still quite a ways out. Starting to think there's some uh, excavations or something going on up here. Uh, they did mention that ranger, right? Headed this direction. Perhaps yeah. she had something yeah. going on. Yeah, perhaps she had something going on. Here. There was a. This doesn't look like the work of one person. I think they would have told no. us if there was a major operation out here. Well, uh, yeah. Maybe they don't know. But. Hmm. It's also it possible. A lot. It's also possible that there's uh, some snacks around here because what uh, you know, knowledge I do have of the area suggests that there's some of those to the west. But I'm, I don't know. Something tells me this is probably more human-made, or. In the event that it's not, are we going to be able to take a city full of snicks? I don't know. We'll have to see. <clears throat> Probably not. Oh, uh, I guess we're going to try anyways. <laughs> I 
Okay. Do we proceed forward? Yeah. As as we uh, as we proceed forward, I kind of discuss with the party the the intricacies of an action economy and what that means in combat. Uh, mm-hmm. In like a turn based RPG way. You know, right. Yeah. So you explain to them what an action economy of like forty yuan T versus you would look yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. cool. That's exactly Sweet. what I'm talking about. Like okay, yeah, cool. so if you broke this down into like a war game, you know, and you consider okay. an action economy, yeah. Right. Are you a fucking nerd? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, you've never heard of war games before? I guess you are from the woods. Maybe <laughs> By- Byron probably knows. It's a it's a noble a noble set mm. war games are. Yes, I have the chess chess set. I've played it before, possibly. Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. And the Yanti um, natural twenty Clark with the giant arrow. Uh, you guys proceed to get closer and closer. You uh, apparently, um, you know, duck into a, the middle of a large dune or something, and you find a great position. Um to kind of scout the, the city out for a little bit. Um, and you're maybe now a quarter of a mile away from the city. And at this distance, you can definitely make out some humanoid shapes, but they're definitely not human. And they roll, the sentries roll a one on their perception, so they do not see you yet, luckily. I think we should... Uh... Get out of here. Hmm. Uh, but they're not human. And I'm gonna go out and pull my uh, uh, cloak. It's like you are impossible to understand right now. I think Stealth Sadie puts his cloak on. Oh. Okay. Excellent. Oh, Slick like begins it. to blend in with the sand. Not too comfortable being the biggest target here. Not too great with range. What with range? Oh, why don't we? Why don't we stay right here and we can let Slick uh, go in and investigate a little bit more and tell us what's up. Mm. Slick, you okay with that? So like, where'd she, where'd she go? <laughs> he says like a man would say to a child, I don't see her, where'd she go? <laughs> As he watches the footsteps in the sand walk around the circles. Mm-hmm. That seems very, it seems a little bit too dangerous. Even with the cloak. Uh, Haste is, uh, would allow me to double my speed, right? Now who else can double their speed? It's also fast. Mm-hmm. I cannot blend in. Mm. If we spend an hour, then we'll probably be spotted by the centuries by then. Huh. But it won't be much Batman different if we wait for... best chance of escaping. That is true. I'm pretty sure he could climb walls pretty well, too. Is that correct? <laughs> Alright, Shadowcat. Swift Bear has taken a vow of only meowing. <laughs> vow of meowings. <laughs> wait, so wait, what's the strategy? You're trying to make. You're trying to force Swift Bear to like climb the city walls. We're gonna have to force Swift Bear to attune to the cloak and then climb the walls. Okay, what was the cloak's name again? I forget what I even gave you. You never told me. Yeah, we didn't get a name. Just like cloak of what? Really? Vanishing or something? You didn't. You didn't identify the cloak. He did. No. Oh, okay, check your cheap PM, PMs, Charles. 
Uh, shit. Because I have an idea of what it does, but I don't entirely remember. I'm pretty sure a... if you stand still, then you become... You invisible. told me that it, uh... It allows you to blend in with your surroundings. Yes, but I don't think it works while you're moving. While you pull up the letter. Are you sure you identified it, or did you, like, deduce what it does? Because that would last, be why I, I'm fairly certain. Last session, he identified it. Pretty right? sure. Because he, no, he identified that. identified his ring. Oh, he, oh, oh, you yeah. He identified it before that too, right? When he identified my axe as well. I thought he had identified it. At some point. Okay. Yeah. I feel like he did. Or if we did deduce, then we probably at least know that. I wouldn't put it on. It. I wouldn't put of uh, putting it put it on if uh, I didn't know what it did. The thing is that no, that's it. that is what happened because you tried it on, attuned to it, and then you blended in inside that base. I recall that being what happened. No, Actually, that's what, what that's what no, Mark no, no. did. What happened is Byron okay. tried it on without attuning to it, and then you forgot that he had to attune to it to actually uh, get the magical effects. So he retconned yeah, it, and then he told us what he did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He tried to give it to me, and I didn't want it. <laughs> I do not trust, and I did it by things. Okay, well, someone attuned to it because I gave you that information. Yeah. So, it has Char to. Yeah, Charles is attuned to it right now. We're slick. Yeah. Otherwise, we're in meta territory here. Um, so, uh, through experimentation, he probably knows mostly what it does. But not everything. Hmm. I mean... We already said the blending in. Thing. Yeah, you, you've observed physical changes, but I mean, if you don't have PMs or anything, then you never identified it. Or if you did, then sad day for you because I'm not going to give it to you again. You'll have to identify it again. Yeah, I think again, it probably didn't identify it because I think we figured that that's all it does, especially if we don't have the name of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know what it does. I know what it is. So, um, so you are attuned to it right now, Slick, and wearing it. Yeah. Okay. So you are camouflaged to the desert right now. Yep. Should we discuss a few things while they're looking stuff up? I'm not looking anything up. I'm ready to go. I'm waiting for you. Okay. Uh, do you think maybe... If we wait out here, I think they're going to spot us anyway. So should we might as well just create a distraction while someone sneaks in? Hmm. I think we can... safely hang out, out here. For the time being. Um... <laughs> And let one person go in, but I mean that's me. That's my opinion, anyways. Is the city walled, or is um, it just gonna open? It's walled, but not very high. About ten feet. Mm-hmm. Should have made it ten feet higher. <sighs> okay, so uh there are... you know what? This looks uh you know, I'll just I'll just go in for a little bit to see who's guarding it and then I'll come back. Okay. Take this spare uh healing potion. Or it's actually my last one, but yeah. Uh if you're gonna use that cloak of invisibility or whatever the hell it is. I can cast fly on you, and you can go ahead and just fly your ass in there. Fly around. Invisible. invisible. It does not make you invisible. Oh yeah, right. It's only if you're sitting still. Right? No, it never made him invisible. Whatever, like, camouflage. 
that's not even close to the same thing. <laughs> well, he's suddenly harder to see when he's sitting. Yeah. Or passive. It, it, he's harder to see in the same way someone in fucking military fatigues is harder to see or some shit. They're, they're yeah. not. So is it an active ghillie distance. suit or a passive ghillie yeah, suit? Yeah, like a ghillie <laughs> suit, basically, you would say would be camouflaged. Mm -hmm. So I don't know why, where you're getting these notions so, so of it's, ability, it's but... literally like 100% easy to see him guys, when we're standing right guys, next to him. Guys, describe it as blending into the black. Ever, like, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Frodo pulls but... the cloak over it and it kind of looks like a rock. He's not invisible, mm -hmm. kind of looks like a rock though. So these are the huge differences between the two. It's not like a complicated thing, you know. It's like <laughs> well, you, it's like the last time you described it. Snake. Last time you described it as him like blending, blending in into the, the background. Yeah. Yeah. So like that'd be like you're looking at him and suddenly he's not mm, really not he doesn't invisible. really look like yeah, but he doesn't really look like he's there anymore. But if I'm sitting here he's talking pretty, to somebody with a ghillie he's suit, he's blending in with his surroundings. Yeah. Okay, I think you have an idea. If I lift him up in the air, and is it <laughs> does he blend into the sky? Mm, not really. I mean, I don't see how that would how that would work. I mean, maybe. I mean, the ba if the background is the sky, kind of like a sure. If you were, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were like looking up directly at him, maybe that would be the case. Maybe he, he turns into like... a cloud. Yeah. And just testing out this fly idea. Also, is there a distance limit for a fly? I don't know if we checked that last time we tried this. I don't think so. I think it's just based on time and how fast you can move. Uh... Since it's kind of intended for you to cast on yourself. Okay, apparently I can't click it. Uh, like, willing creature gains flying speed of 60 feet for the duration. When the spell ends, target falls. Uh, okay, good. So, it's 10 minutes. 60 feet for 10 minutes. Willing 60 creature. 60 feet for 10 minutes? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, for 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, um... Alright, uh... Slick, uh, Char Slick, did you add the extra healing potion? Or can I take this one off? I did. Alright, you should have two now. And just for the hell of it, I guess take... Uh, how many oil flasks do I have? I think those are listed on, like, the camel. Uh, Clark, do you have, uh, how many uh, uh, oil flasks are on this? For machine? lantern oil? Yeah, lantern oil. Uh, I think it was like 20. 20? Yeah. Take about... Can you carry like five of those? Just in case you need a dive bomb? There. You have 15 on your camel. Yeah. Only about a half pound each, by the way. My five... Wait, what... Five uh, lantern oils. Well, what am I getting lantern oils for? You're flying. You may need to attack something. You're basically a B2 bomber right now. <laughs> so if I need to attack something, okay. Drop the oil. Sure. Do a fireball. That's so fire uh, I look at... Uh, I look at uh, Clark and I say, "All right, cast a spell." Uh, and I will touch him and cast fly on him if he will take it. If I could actually hit cast on it. Do you expect uh, accept the spell, Slick? No. Mm. Yes. Okay. You feel light as a feather. You have your cloak over you, and you are sort of blending in with your surroundings. Um, you're still a ways out from the city, 
So, I mean, there's virtually no chance at all they would see you How far from, this, from this distance. You guys are still like a quarter mile out. Um, there's a chance they will see you as you get closer. So you'll have to play it, you know, play it safe. But, you know, if you're flying in the air with your cloak, you got pretty good concealment. Um, the way I'm going, I'm not approach the city high. Oh. Like this guy just in a while. Is that... You're breaking up. I can't. I want to cloak the same color as possible. Quite as low. Hello? Still there? It's like you probably want to reload Point. Discord again. I said I'm going to fly as low as possible so that the cloak doesn't change and it'll blend in with the sand as I fly low towards them. Okay. Um, you fly low then and approach what appears now to you to be wooden palisades. They're not actually um, of old Caridian design. This looks like a newer construction built around the old city. How close do you want to get? Uh, I want to get close enough to see what thing this place first. Okay, I, I don't understand. Do you want to fly above the palisade? Do you want to get 200 feet away? Like, give me specifics here. Okay, reach the palisade. Is, so, uh, I'm going to fly. Do you want to shimmy against the, the palisades like Krunk from uh, Emperor's New Groove? I'm going up. I'm going up. I'm Wall, and like, like, like fly up so with the wall. And once I'm up near the top, I'm going to like glance over it. Okay, I'm like barely understanding you, but I think I got it. Um, as you approach you get uh, you're you, you know, you're spotted basically is what happens or someone sees something and they think you know like they take a double take like did i just see something and they begin to approach your location as you get to the wall and you can definitely tell these are the creatures that you fought the night before only they're not ghost like they are real as far as you can tell anyway Okay, so uh, once I see someone like going to my e end of the wall, I like fly down towards the bottom, and I circle and I circle around the wall so like he won't like look down and see me, and, and I go to another area. Okay. Uh, inside the city is um, looks like a patchwork design of old construction uh, utilizing a sort of polished black metal or something uh, it looks old and then attached to the new construction is uh, it looks like they're trying to maintain it with the same material but it's uh, you, know, you don't really know the historicity of anything about this area but it looks it does look different to you than you know what i mean like if you were to look at two different paintings you'd be able to tell there might be like a difference in the artist's style you know what i mean like you can kind of tell yeah that kind of stuff um so it's kind of like that you're not entirely sure but it seems different uh, now that I know that the snakes are basically uh, 
you know, in this city. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm going to fly away from the wall again, and then I'm going to start heading up until I'm, like, barely, I like, I'd be a speck pretty much to almost to them in a way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to look out over the city to get its uh, layout. Okay. It's a fairly large city. Uh, and as you get an eagle's eye view of the city, you can see there are quite a few of them, these snake creatures in the city. They're ambling about. It looks like a lot of them are doing construction work. There are plenty of sentries around. Um, you're kind of surprised that you weren't spotted now that you got a good view on it. Um, is there anything specific you'd like to know? I mean, some things will be barred from you. You'd have to get a closer look, but I mean, is there anything you'd like to know? Uh, interesting locations, uh, specific areas where I can see centuries. Yeah, uh, the, the sentries are yeah, mostly just... posted on you know, their makeshift wall. Um, but there are some in the cities. Uh, there's a lot, particularly around a large temple that is approximately in the center. Anything that looks like uh, this terracotta thing? Mm, what does that look like? I mean, your best. Uh, what's your best guess of what you're looking for? Either something that's a humanoid statue, mm -hmm. or some like arcane symbol of like protection somewhere. I don't know. You don't see anything like that, but you haven't spent a lot of time flying over the city. You, like I said, you've. You flew up into the air, and you have, like, a, a grand view of the city, but, you know. All right. Well, I don't want to waste too much time because I only have so, so long. So I fly back down uh, as soon as I'm far enough away from the city, and I head back to the party. Okay. You definitely did spot the guards looking um, in a location they thought they had seen something, but you were obviously gone before that had... Um, they hadn't... Hadn't the wherewithal to look to the sky and look for a semi-camouflaged flying goblin. So, yeah, you're pretty sure you're in the clear on that. For now, anyway. Mm -hmm. So you fly way above them in the sky and um, you can make it back to the party without too much trouble. Sure. Uh, once I make it to the party, I uh, I uh, sit, I uh, fall back to the ground, and I uh, poke Clark, and I say, <clears throat> "It's the snake people. There is a temple in the center center of the city where there is more sentinels, but most of them seem to be posted around the walls." Hmm. Didn't see any sign of uh, any sentinels or whatever you were talking about. Well, I, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I don't necessarily feel like angering an entire city of beyond T, so. Doesn't seem like a good idea. I don't think there's much to gain either. Try to make our way out as fast as possible, maybe. We should get moving. They can probably see us from here. All right. I think we make a circle around the city and make our way out. Um, I'd like to. You said we moved for. We traveled five hours already. Yep. Um, I would like to stick within sight of it. 
for the remainder of the day if we could, because I do want to see if it dies down at night. If you guys are up to it. Just because, uh... There's usually quite a bit beneath the sand in these cities as well, and I feel, uh... Well, I don't know. I, I, I'm not entirely happy just leaving. Leaving it. I want to know what's down there, but... 